you been looking for a training on the basics of manifestation? Well, you have come to the right place. Today, in this video, I am going to play for you one of the best trainings that I've done on the basics of manifestation. It's called Manifestation 101. So it's a little bit of a longer training, but it's gonna give you all the knowledge you need to start manifesting in your life without investing in yourself from a simple YouTube video. So like this video and subscribe because I'm gonna be posting way more content like this coming soon. But first, here's that pre-recorded training that I did on a Zoom one night that literally changed people's lives. They started manifesting all kinds of fabulous things just from one training. Enjoy. should be up and running. So welcome everybody. This is uh, so beautiful. There is so many of you on tonight. Holy, this is wonderful. Everybody wants to learn how to manifest. So super fun. I'm going to give you tons of value. I really, really decided the best thing to do for this is to, um, you know, take it back to basics. So uh, some of you who are on here um, are currently in some of my other programs. So you've got some higher level knowledge that you're working on right now. You have some blocks that you're releasing uh, and all that beautiful stuff. But what I really, really want you to do when you're listening today is I want you to go back to basics because there's messages in um, the simplicity of the way that things are taught. So this will be a beautiful way for you to kind of ground yourself. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I got my hair cut. Um, and for those that are new, oh my gosh, welcome. So if this is the first uh, exposure that you have had to manifestation to me, um, to this beautiful, brave new world that you are entering into, you're going to love it. Uh, you're not going to want to leave. I can tell you that much. So just a little bit of an overview uh, of what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to try to keep it within the hour. If we want to go a bit over and do some Q&A at the end, we certainly can. Um, but I'm just going to gauge it based on you guys and how you're doing. So I'm going to start off by just talking a little bit about me because we do have a lot of new people um, that haven't been on any of my trainings before. So um, just to give you a little bit of my background and why the heck you should listen to me. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what manifestation really is um, and where the word comes from and all that stuff. And then I'm going to give you a list um, of steps that I want you to take. Yes, it should be recorded. Yes, it is. Yes, it's recorded. Um, and I'm going to give you the steps to take to manifest um, what you want. Um, keep in mind the steps are exactly the same no matter what it is you're manifesting. So that's really, really fun. Um, as you go along, if you do have questions um, or you need to get a hold of me um, for any reason as I'm teaching, you can just um, raise your hand um, in the participants window or you can reach out to Stormy. She is the one that is the host now, so you can reach out to her if you need anything. I would love to hear who is, um, who here is this your first time on one of my trainings? I would love to see how many uh, new people that we have. There is 13 pages of people on here. Sam is new, love it. Christine. Oh, awesome. Okay, tons of new people. Okay, this is good. So I'll give you more, um, more background about me then. So um, I am a, a registered nurse by background. So I, uh, for 15 years, was in the healthcare field. Um, I was a bedside nurse and then went into um, senior leadership. So I became a, um, I became a manager and then a director, uh, and I worked um, a lot. Uh, for not enough money, let's put it that way. Uh, but I've always been blessed with the ability to go to school and to be able to have that opportunity. So that was beautiful. Um, but I got to a point in my life where I started really, really asking myself, like, what am I doing this for? What is my passion? Um, you know, and what I thought I was passionate about, I realized was just, I wanted to help people. And nursing just seemed like the only way to do that. 
to be able to give myself, um, to be caring. I'm such a caring person. So it really gave me an opportunity to express my caring. Uh, but it was, um, it was a hard system to work in and uh, long, long days. And it just felt less and less rewarding. So if there's any nurses on here who are tired, especially right now, um, I hear ya, you know, I felt it. And um, so I actually transitioned myself into network marketing. So um, a lot of people think what I do now is somehow related to network marketing, but it's completely not. Uh, but I was in network marketing and I do believe that network marketing is a beautiful for, way for you to make an income. And it's very possible. There's a lot of people making really great money in that industry. And so the network marketing industry helped me to transition from working for somebody else to working for myself with a business in a box to creating my own company, my own business. So it was a beautiful stepping stone for me uh, to where I am today. But when I was in my network marketing business um, and I stopped working as a nurse, I thought, oh, I'm gonna work full time now at my business and it's just gonna blow up, it's gonna explode. And that didn't happen. Things kind of started to go backwards. My team wasn't really working. I started to get stressed out. I started to worry about the money. My income was going backwards. And the more that happened, the more I thought to myself, what do I do? I need to do something. It's not working. My team's not duplicating. What do I do? And I asked for a sign. I asked for the ability to change my life quickly. I wanted something different. And at that moment is when my mentor, Bob Proctor, came into my life. And so I ended up taking one of his programs. I started learning from him and um, things started to change very quickly. So for those of you who don't know who that is, Bob Proctor is one of the world's leading trainers in human growth and potential. He is from the movie, The Secret. He teaches, uh, many say law of attraction, but we know that the law of attraction is actually just a secondary law. The primary law is law of vibration. Um, so he has been pivotal in uh, transforming my life. I applied his material and uh, things started to change very quickly. I started manifesting a number of things into my life, a spot on a TV show, um, co-authoring a novel. Um, what else can I tell you? Little things. Um, of course, large sums of money to the dollar, $20,000 to the dollar. So $21,795 to the dollar. Um, my house, my business, uh, all of that has been uh, manifested through the knowledge that I gained from Bob. And I even have a friendship with him now. Uh, and that was manifested. And so I ended up deciding that I wanted to teach this. I, I thought to myself, wow, what would it be like to live every single day in this material? in this way of thinking, what would that be like? And so I put an idea into motion and I made that idea into form. And so um, last week um, we hit a beautiful, maybe two weeks ago now, I can't even remember now, it's going so fast. <laughs> um, we hit the top level of Bob's organization. So I partner with him now, I'm one of his coaches um, and officially his top North American coach and second globally. So these are things that involved the manifestation of ideas of dreams into the physical form manifestation. So why should you listen? Well, I've applied it into my life and it's worked very well. And it's worked very well for a lot of other people who are my clients and who are on my team. So I don't know if you guys, if anybody is listening, that's had some manifestations, I would love it if you would put it in the chat. Just a brief little, you know, to write a novel, but just a brief little, you know, something that you've manifested, a change in your life, a physical thing, a way of living, whatever that is for you, um, put into the chat because the wins that we share are just all over the place. They're beautiful. So um, yeah, that would be awesome. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to show you the power behind um, manifestation if you choose to believe it. So if you don't believe it, well, it won't work for you. That's one of the things is that you have to believe that it's possible for you to be able to bring things into your life that you want. So I want to make sure that you are uh, living in a true place of faith. So you're going to hear me talk about that a lot today. Uh, so you can have all this in your life. Oh, manifested a house. I love that. 
Ah, so good. Oh, I love all these. Okay, beautiful. So what is manifestation? This is really, really interesting. If you think about um, what it is to manifest, many people think, oh, I don't know how to manifest. Well, you may not consciously know how to manifest, but you're manifesting every day. You're manifesting by the thoughts that you're thinking. So if you are not seeing anything different in your life, it's because you're manifesting the same thing over and over again. Our thoughts create our physical world. So if you are describing your life right now, you're prescribing your future. So you're creating the same thing over and over again. So what I want you to start to do is I want you to start consciously manifesting. And I love using that word because it means that you're making a decision to think about different things to change your physical world around you. A couple of definitions that I found of manifestation that I really, really loved. So one definition was that manifestation is when something spiritual becomes real. Something spiritual becomes real. So spiritual is what often people use to describe things that you cannot see, things that are invisible. Well, your thoughts are spiritual. You can't see them, you can hear them. No one else can. So thought energy is spirituality into the physical form. Another um, definition uh, talks about manifestation as bringing an idea into the physical form. So you can see how manifestation is something that you do every day. But what's the idea that you're manifesting into form? Is it sadness? Is it dislike about you and feel like you're not good enough? Is it, you know, unhappiness around the relationship that you're in? Is it negative thoughts about somebody in your life? So what is the idea that you're manifesting more of into the physical form. This is where I really want you to be consciously aware. So Neville Goddard is one of my all time favorite authors. I would say he's like the king of manifestation. He was teaching and talking about this long before anyone knew what the heck it was. And he talks about all mankind ever was or ever will be exists now. So then what is meant by creation. If creation is finished, then nothing is ever to be created, but it's only to be manifested. So what is called creativeness is only becoming aware of what already is. So you yourself with the life that you want is there. You're just not manifesting it. You're not bringing it to form. And so energy, which is all around us, we are made up of energy. The trees are energy, the grass is energy. This pen is energy, just in different forms. So we wanna use all the energy, the formless substance around us to bring things into physical form. And if you're somebody who um, knows about the seven natural laws, if you've ever studied the seven natural laws, the very first law, the perpetual, transmutation of energy this is bringing thought into form so if you've heard thoughts are things this is exactly what we're talking about we're talking about holding an idea in your mind and moving it into form so every single thing in your physical environment right now the computer that you're using or the phone that you're using um this microphone that i have here my desk airplanes it was all an idea in someone's mind first and then it moved into the physical form so this is what we're going to do consciously we're going to create we're going to create new things and the new things are going to be what you want so stormy if you wouldn't mind just muting everybody that would be awesome um so we want to make sure that you're consciously manifesting and bringing into physical form the ideas of what you want in your life. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. So what I really hope that you guys um, 
what you guys get from today is that, you know, and my hope is that my dream for what I want, and I'm going to use this as an example um, throughout this training. I hope that my dream for what I want to achieve and what I have achieved already gives you hope of what you can achieve because there's nothing different about me. There is nothing um, about me that is any different in terms of my mind, my body, my knowledge that has done anything different for me. It's in applying what I'm going to teach you that you're going to be able to do this yourself. So many of you have seen my TikToks. Um, TikTok, for whatever reason, is really enjoying um, what I'm putting out. And it's just a little fun way for me to share what I'm teaching. Um, but there are those that respond on there. Okay, Candace found me on TikTok, awesome. There are some who respond on there and they say that what I'm doing is a scam. And so um, that is a perfect example of their paradigm, their way of thinking. So whenever they see somebody who's had success and they've had success fast, they're, they've been programmed to think that, well, it must be a scam. And so we're going to have compassion for those people because they've been programmed to think that. And I think we've all had that lack of belief in the ability for something to do for somebody to do something. So instead of judging others, we're going to hopefully educate, provide knowledge so that we can help them to start to learn how to change their life and change their results. So I almost feel like those people need to be on here more because they have um, they have a need for this more than anybody else. Uh, so what you may have seen on TikTok is the growth in myself over the past year. And so um, just over one year ago, I'm gonna say 14 months ago, 15 months ago, I was making 3,000 to $3,500 a month. And now, you know, for the past two months, now this will be the third month, um, you know, I'm bringing in revenue of half a million dollars a month. How is that possible? To go from making 3000 to $3,500 a month to multi millions of dollars in a year. It's not because anybody showed me how to do this. It's not because I had magic. It's not because um, I'm in a position that was given to me. It's because I created something in my mind first and I moved it into the physical form. Yeah, manifested it. Absolutely. And so I continue to manifest things all the time. It just happens now. I ask, I receive. So this is what I want to teach you guys today. I want to give you the steps so that you can actually um, do this for yourself. Now, I wouldn't suggest that you take the idea of millions of dollars right off the hop and expect to receive it tomorrow. I would say if you've never done this before, that I would start with something small. And <laughs> even as I say that, I'm like, well, <laughs> nothing's big or small. Uh, it just is. We place a value on it. So we only know that a million dollars is big when we compare it to a thousand dollars. So the law of relativity tells us that. So what we want to do is we want to make everything feel small. But your ability to believe something is possible is what's going to help you to manifest faster. So this is the difference. There's no difference in the steps that you take to manifest a thousand dollars as you would a hundred thousand to a million. But you are going to accept a belief of the smaller faster. So that's why I think it would be better to start off smaller and go through this process. So the first um, step in the manifestation process, and this is my all time favorite part, is that you have to ask, you have to put in your order. So somebody said this yesterday and I thought it was so fun. They said, it's like um, universe prime. You go and you log into Amazon, you pick what you want, you put it in your cart, you order it, and you just have faith that it's gonna show up until it shows up. So this is what we wanna do. We wanna ask the universe. People ask me, what's the universe? Okay. So the universe is the formless substance. Universe is our creator, our source. So some may refer to it as <coughs> spirit, God, creator, source, universe, whatever it is you want to use as your terminology. Um, What's another one? Allah. 
So whatever you want to, what language works best for you, you use that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask for what we want. So the first thing we have to do is we have to put in our order. So you have to be really clear on what it is that you want. So what is it that you want? Is it a thousand dollars? Is it a certain home? Is it certain results in your business? That's the best way to, um, to really, really start to get clear is to know what you ask for. So we're not going to ask for a thousand dollars today and 500 tomorrow and 1500 the next day. We're going to get really clear and we're going to get really specific about what it is that we want. And if you are somebody who is manifesting money, you really, really want to make sure that you have a use for that money. What are you going to do with it? Is it to buy a car? Is it to buy a house? Is it to help your family? Is it to make a charitable donation? What will you do with the money? Because it's not the money we want. We don't want the money. We want what the money will give us. One of my favorite things that I learned from Robert Russell is that prosperity is what you have when your money is spent. Right? Financial freedom, time freedom, experiences, relaxation. So we want to make sure that we're really clear on what that money is going to be used for. You want to invite money in and you want it to stay. It needs a reason. Oh, lots of good stuff in the chat. Oh, I'm not even paying attention. So good. Okay. The next step, ask for, after you've put in your, your order to Universe Prime, you're not going to stop asking. This is going to be a regular thing. So you could write it out. You could visualize it. You can meditate in a guided visualization through a meditation. You could sit and ask for it if you'd like. You could listen to a life script on your phone. But the key is when you're doing this, when you're asking for it, when you're writing it out, you're saying it in the present tense. Why would we do that? Why would we ask for it in the present tense? I'm so happy and grateful now that because you want to feel the feeling of having it. So when you say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have this, you immediately have a picture that comes in your mind of you with it. And feeling is the secret, literally. So you apply the emotion. The next step, once you're doing this, you're holding on to that vision, you're specific, you're clear, you're asking continuously, you're going to believe. You're not going to doubt it. So uh, if you don't know Esther Hicks, she channels her spirit guide, Abraham. And he talks about the vortex and how when we ask for something, we're putting it out into the vortex. Our manifestations, our ass go out into the vortex and they will stay there during a gestation period, a waiting period until it manifests in the physical form. But there's one thing that's really going to mess that up for you. And that's doubt. If you start doubting that it's not coming, if you start looking for it in the physical world and saying it's not here, you've stopped that it's no longer in the vortex. So this is what I mean by you're going to believe. The third thing is that you're going to let. So many of you have probably heard let go and let God. Doesn't matter how you say it, but you're going to let. So the, the best examples that I can give you of this idea is when you order a pizza, you place your order, you go on with your life until it shows up at the door you know the pizza's gonna come. You're not worrying about it, you're not asking for it, you're not calling every five minutes, where is it, where is it? You're just allowing the pizza to come. You're just letting them make the pizza, you're letting them bring it to your house and you're letting them drop it off. It's the same thing with a pot of boiling water. You turn it on to full, you walk away and you know you're gonna come back to a pot of boiling water. 
So this is what let means. You're gonna let it happen. You're going to let go of any resistance. So any doubts, any fears, any worries, any indecision-based programming. Oh no, did I ask for the right thing? Oh no, is it gonna work? Oh, but what if it doesn't? What am I gonna do? We're not doing any of that. We're gonna put it in the vortex. And we're gonna trust the process. Yes, absolutely. So I talked a little bit about um, Neville Goddard earlier and I read a quote from his book, Power of Awareness. And one of my, one of the favorite, my favorite things that he talks about, and it really helps me to understand this, is he talks about from the moment that you're asking for what you want, until it shows up in the physical form, there is a bridge of incidents. So there is a culmination of things happening, transpiring, universe is aligning, substances are coming together to bring you everything that you want. And so we're not going to pretend like it's not happening. Bridge of incidents. Incidents, happenings, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Bridge of incidents, yeah. The fourth thing that you're going to do is that you're going to have absolute trust. You're going to have trust in yourself and your abilities. You're going to have trust in the process. You're going to have trust in the universe to provide you what you want. And you're going to have an absolute faith in knowing that everything you ask for is on its way. Anyone who isn't manifesting what they don't, what they want. So if you're trying to manifest, I hear this a lot, I've been trying to manifest. It's because you don't believe. I know that's really hard to hear, but it's truth. You have to believe wholeheartedly and you have to let. There's a few, few of you on here tonight that I've seen the moment when you've let it go. I've seen the moment when you've released it because your results in life completely change. So play around with it. You want to have fun. You want to be in a state of joy. You want to be happy now to be able to manifest what you want. And this is where patience comes in, which is the fifth step. Patience is so important because if you're impatient, you want it now, you need it now, what is that energy? That's an energy of despair, of rush, of need. So for you to manifest what you want, you have to be in a state of bliss now. This is where gratitude can help you. So no matter what your current situation is in this very moment, you may not have any money, you may not have any support, you know, working a job you don't want or not having a job at this moment. There could be some things going on in your life that aren't very good, but you need to find the good and you need to be in a good vibration. So law of attraction, so many of us hear about, that comes from the law of vibration. So the vibration that we are in, or the emotion that we are in, is our point of attraction. If you're in a negative vibration, a low vibration, you're thinking about what you don't want. You're thinking about the fight with your husband, the lack of money in your bank, the lack of job, the disappointment you have in yourself for not being further along in your business. So your point of attraction is low, it's negative. So you're going to attract to you more things to be disappointed in to be saddened about. If you're focused on your lack of money, you're attracting more debt. Okay, so this is where I want you to, even if you only have $5, to be in a high vibration 
and grateful for your $5 because that's going to bring you more money in. So you want to be operating on a high vibration because then what's going to happen? You're feeling joy. You're feeling gratitude. You're feeling passion. You're inspired. You have faith. What is going to be attracted to you? All of those things, more things to be grateful for, more inspired people, more business opportunities, and more money. When you shift your focus, and this is what happened with me really fast, when you shift your focus away from the lack of money to money as being abundant, it's very, very powerful. So when I first started learning from Bob, not directly from him, one of his courses, um, I decided, you know what? Like we have no money. Like how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to feel what it feels like to have tons of money when I have no money? Like how, how, how is that possible? Well, we have an imagination for a reason. Did you know that? Cause I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It's there for us to practice what it feels like to have something. It's there for creation. So an architect, he sees the house and is in his imagination, in his mind's eye first, and then he takes pen to paper and he sketches it, and then they build it. Well, an architect is just manifesting. That's it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to... We're going to use our imagination to picture what it feels like to have money. So I did this and, and you can do this with money if you'd like. I decided I wanted to make $20,000 a month. That was my goal. More, It was way more than I'd ever made. I didn't even see how was it possible. I didn't know anybody making that kind of money. It just seemed crazy, but I thought I'll go with it. And so I started to write down. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm making over $20,000 in one month. And then I started to think about what it would be like to have $20. Well, how would I feel when the $20,000 $20, came into my bank account and I looked and I saw it in there? What would the emotion be, the feeling be? You, you can take yourself there right now in this instant. You check your bank, you log in to your online banking and there's $20,000 sitting in there. Now I thought to myself, that's that's not realistic because I always have a little bit of money in my bank. Uh, so I'm gonna manifest $21,795 and I wrote it down. And I kept writing this out. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have 21,795. And I would visualize myself logging in and seeing that number in my online banking. And then I decided what I was gonna do with it. Okay, so once the 20,000 comes into the bank, I'm probably gonna go buy myself this and maybe we'll go out for a nice dinner. So I started spending the money in my mind. So did you notice how suddenly I was so focused on this money? I'd forgotten that I'm in debt completely. So my vibration started to become one of joy and hope of prosperity. And I was in October and I will never forget this. Lisa, you were there at Rank Makers with Ray Higdon. Um, I was sitting there and Chris said, you know, we, we got some money from some stocks. It should be in your account. Weren't expecting it. And I checked the bank account and it said $21,795 and like 88 cents. I've never felt that feeling before. You're kidding me. This works. So when I hear people say they don't believe, you need to believe because it works. And so then I said, okay, well now we have 20,000. I want 50 a month. And then guess what? That happened. I want a hundred thousand a month. Well, that happened. 250, that happened. Now I'm manifesting a million dollars a month. A million dollars a month. And all of the things that I've spent this money on, my future money, 
we actually are, were able to do it. Like to sponsor a village in Africa, 70 kids and their families, food, clothing, water, healthcare, and school for one year because I decided to believe in this. So this is why I want you to believe in this. I want you to be able to create this for yourself and to make the impact that you can on others. The sixth step is you have to remain open to receive. So this is persistence. This is persistence. There is no other way of doing this. You are going to continue to ask for it until it's here. And here, I mean the physical world. Because this physical world that you're living in in this very moment is actually the result of past thinking. So your thinking of today is not creating today, it's creating tomorrow. So if you give up today, you're giving up on something that could have showed up tomorrow and would have showed up tomorrow, but you gave up. So you want to make sure that you're holding that vision until, and if you have absolute faith in knowing that it's coming, well, you're good. You're really good. And um, with receiving as well, I really, really, really want you to uh, remain in a state of flow. So if you think about, um, let's think about when you water your lawn, the hose that you water your lawn with, right? So when you take it off of the thing that it's wrapped up in and you spread it out into a straight line and you turn it on, it flows beautifully. But if you fold it upon itself, if you turn it around too tight, the water gets cut off or it goes really slow. So you've got a kink in your hose. So resistance then is anything that brings you into, into a lower vibration. Doubts, worries, fear, indecision thinking about the things that you don't want, stressing about a fight that you had with your sister over a dress you borrowed. Do you want to fight about that? Or do you want to think about how grateful you are for your sister and that she's here to fight with you about a dress? You want to always be in a state of flow. You want to be open to receiving. And if you believe and you continue to move your body towards Is it my time, Norman? that which you want, would you mind meeting everybody there, Stormy? Yeah, okay. Um, and then the last thing is repeat. Okay. So, like I said before, it's the same process for a thousand dollars that it is for a million dollars. But it's going to be your ability to accept a new belief, right? So your ability to accept a new belief is how you're going to continue to manifest. So if you don't believe that you can manifest a thousand dollars, you won't, but if you do, then you will. Here's the, here's the kicker you uh you can't focus on the how whatsoever so every single time i talk about my story and manifesting and what i've done the question is how how so robert russell talks about so first bob says uh success is 95 percent mindset and five percent strategy robert russell says it's 98 percent your thoughts i believe that i believe it's 98 percent I truly do. When I am aligned in my thinking, when I'm thinking of only what it is that I want and I have absolute faith and knowing that it is coming, uh, it happens every single time. And when it doesn't happen, I don't notice. I don't say I failed or I did something wrong. 
I simply say, oh, it's not here yet. Okay, so these steps, this is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> um, because we're, I'm, because I'm doing such a broad overview, um, there's so much more information and value um, that you can get. And I have a team full of people. So I have about 25 people that work with me. So they're experts in this too. They're experts in manifestation and law of attraction. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer you guys an opportunity to speak to them. Now, if you've already had a call with them before and you've asked your questions, um, I would just pause on that uh, because we have a lot of new people on here. So we wanna make sure that we're giving them an opportunity. Um, so I'm gonna get Sarah or, um, there she is, Sarah. She's put a link in the chat there. And what that link is, is for you to book your call with somebody with my team. So what they're gonna help you to do is they're gonna get you to help you to clarify your goal and they're gonna get you to stretch it a bit. Cause we don't wanna create a goal of what we think we can achieve but what we want to achieve. So I want you to click on the link there and book the call. They are also going to give you this list in a checklist, okay? So I would just go in there, um, click on that link, whether you're on the Zoom or you're in the Facebook group, you can do it. And what it'll do is it will send us a notice that you'd like to hop on a call with somebody on the team uh, and then they can set that with you directly. Now, of course, highly confidential, always. Okay, so there's no cost for that call. They're there to help you. Yep. Okay, the last thing that I want to really, really stress um, with manifestation is if you feel pressure, and if you try too hard and if you force it, you're in a state of resistance. So I want you to, as you're manifesting, I want you to do it like it's a fun little experiment. Okay? So we're gonna think about something really fun that you wanna manifest. When I first started this, I tried it out. I said, I would love a coffee. I would love somebody to bring me a coffee. I was working at home, nobody was there, everybody was away at school, husband was at work and I'm like, I would love a coffee. And here comes the girl that cleans my house and brought me a coffee. She's never done that before. And she'd been cleaning my house for two years. So have fun, little things. I wrote down that I'd love to be a best-selling author. I was like, yeah, I'd love to be a best-selling author. I didn't put any pressure on it. I just thought, oh, that would be nice. And then whenever I read my goals, I'd be like, yeah, the best-selling author, Kathleen. Next thing you know, Somebody asked me to co-author a book. I write it in February and then in April it gets released and it goes to bestseller. Didn't even really have to try. So I want you to be in a state of flow, in a state of ease. I want you to have fun. I want you to enjoy the process and just start thinking about what do I want? You manifested Pete's coffee on our trip to Miami. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Um, so always ask, always ask yourself, what do I want? What would I prefer? So it may be, it could be money, but it could be your business. So if your business was running how you wanted your business to run, how would it be? What would it look like? How many people would be coming into it? What's your conversion rate? What are your sales like? How do you spend your days while you're working in business? Yeah, my book is called, it's in, um, it's called The Self Love Club. Oh, yeah, limitless, absolutely. One of the things that I um, I have said a couple of times is that things didn't start happening to me in my life until I believed 
that something that used to be impossible became possible in my mind. Okay, so we have an idea of what we think is possible right now. You have an idea. And so we want to make sure that you're moving from a place of impossible to possible. And once you start to think that this might be possible for you, you've switched your awareness. You've switched your belief. So good. As a physicist, I'm really resonating with what you're saying. Absolutely. Yes. Quantum physics. Okay. So this one's for the physicist. I actually spend most of my time in the fourth dimension or the quantum realm, which is my imagination. And here right now, the physical is just the past. <laughs> I can see, I told you, I'm going to keep it really basic because I'm living, yeah, I'm living off in, in my imagination all the time. So good. Yeah. Too fun. Okay. So let's do a couple of questions. Uh, what time is it? Do we have time? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do a couple of questions. So I saw one here that I think is so good. Um, can you explain the difference between manifesting and affirmations? I write my affirmations 10 times in the morning and evening, but I get caught up in the other goals I have and where, how the best way to manifest these are. What I always suggest that you do is that you create a vision for your future. So it's not just like one little thing. It's like a lifestyle. Like if you could be living the lifestyle of your dreams, what does it look like? How do you spend your days? What are the things that you have? What are the trips that you take? The whole thing. Because you want to you want to manifest into the physical that entire lifestyle. And how do you feel when you have all of that? Well, you're very, very proud of yourself. You're in a state of ease and flow. So once you have that vision, then you're going to use affirmations to help you believe what you need to believe to manifest it. So a lot of people listen to I am affirmations. I am this, I am that, and somebody else saying it. I don't do that. And I write all my own affirmations. So an affirmation is something that you use to affirm a belief to your subconscious mind that you currently do not believe. So if you believe that you lack confidence, you're going to create an affirmation that says, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm confident. If you lack discipline, you're going to say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm disciplined. So can you see how confidence and discipline are going to help you to manifest? I also use affirmations like, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a powerful being and I create in my mind and it manifests in the physical form. So this is how you can grow your faith by using affirmations. It's also a form of auto suggestion. So auto suggestion is where you're going to suggest something to yourself. So again, it's something you don't believe to be true. So if you are somebody who loves to sleep and you say, I'm not a morning person, I can't wake up in the morning, but it's really impacting your life. And you want to start getting up at 6 a.m. because you know, if you get up at 6 a.m., you're going to be a heck of a lot more productive. You're going to use auto suggestion to change the belief that you, you're not a morning person. So you're going to tell yourself you love mornings. I'm so happy and grateful now that I wake up every morning at 6 a.m. and I absolutely love it. Because the more you hear something over and over again, it goes into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is what drives your behavior. So I don't want anybody to get it twisted here with manifesting. It's not sitting at home visualizing and waiting for it to come. It success is faith expressed in action. There's an action piece in there. So you're going to move your body towards the goal. And then the law of attraction is going to help it pull towards you. So this is why it happened so fast for me. This is why there was such a big change in one year because I went all in in my faith 
I vibrated really high on a new frequency and I moved my body every single day towards the goal. You can't want to make a million dollars, but you work like somebody who makes $10 a day. You, you have to be committed to do whatever it takes to get there. Manifestation can be easy if you believe it's easy, but if you believe it's hard, it'll be hard. I hope that answers the manifest the affirmation question. Oh, is there more? I didn't want to say greedy. Can I talk about this for a minute? Greed greedy? Greedy is a word that somebody's paradigm created. Universe, God, source, spirit wants us to, to live abundant and prosperous lives. Somewhere along the line, somebody made it bad to have money or to want money. And we've bought into it. And it's the same story about other things in life. Like in order to be a supermodel, you have to be a size two and six feet tall. Like that's just, somebody just decided that. Well, why? I want you to start questioning some of these beliefs. We get divorced and we feel like failures because somewhere along the line, somebody decided that we should stay married to the same person for our whole entire life. And if we didn't do that, then we failed. So once we change our beliefs about things, we change the way it makes us feel. So then we don't feel bad about ourselves. We're proud of ourselves. That feeling of pride that manifests for you. You'll have more things to be proud of. But if you're feeling down about yourself, you're upset with yourself, you're feeling low, that's your success mechanism, your self image. Why do certain words feel so powerful to me? For example, you said failure and I, yeah. So this is the thing with words. Words have power, but we don't want to use the words against ourselves. We want to use the words for us, right? So when I'm creating affirmations about myself, I use words like I'm powerful. I'm a powerhouse. I'm a badass. You know, like using words like that raise you up. So they make you feel good versus the other words. What if there was no failure? Like, what if that actually didn't exist? Like, what if we never failed? We just kept moving on in a place of faith. Cassie, oh, good question. She's reading one of my favorite books. Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Barand. Okay, this is so good. <laughs> Read this book and then visualize. You'll never be the same. Um, the more quickly, um, okay. The more enthusiasm and faith you are able to put in your picture, the more quickly it will come into visible form. Yes. Uh, your enthusiasm is increased by keeping your desire secret. The moment you speak it to a living soul, the moment your power weakened, um, how do you feel about the secret part? I don't buy into that. Yeah, I don't buy into that. So I, I've been very open about what I want. <clears throat> I talk about it. I live like I have it. So this is Neville Goddard's law of assumption. So this is the difference, right? So if you expect something to be true, it will be true. If you assume something, that's the truth. So I assume that my life is going to show up the way that I want it to show up. I assume I am already what I want to be. So keeping it a secret to me doesn't make sense. So that's the only part of our, about Genevieve Buran that I don't resonate with. And we don't have to believe everything we read. We can take what we want. That's going to help us. I used to believe that I had to write affirmations a hundred times in the morning and a hundred times at night. Cause that's what Bob said. So I'm doing that. I'm writing it out like crazy. And then I thought to myself, well, what if I didn't have to write it a hundred times? What if I could just write it like 20 times? So I'm like, yeah, it's going to do the same thing. If I write it 20 times, I change my belief. Now I don't write it at all. I write it like once in the morning. 
So it's all what you believe. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Do you have any tips on how to deal with feelings of self-doubt? Yes. Yes. So um, self-doubt is um, a negative vibration. It's a feeling that you're applying to an emotion. Sorry, it's, a, it's an emotion you're applying to a thought. So as a thought enters into your mind, it's not good or bad. It just is. We apply the emotion. And the more we apply the emotion, it goes to our subconscious mind. So I'm not worthy. And then you feel like crap and you keep doing that over and over and over again. It goes to your subconscious mind. It becomes your habitual way of thinking. So you'll habitually think I'm not worthy. So what you want to do is you want to fill your mind with the opposite thought and the opposite emotion. So purity of mind is the kingdom. So when you have a pure mind, you're only talking about you're only thinking about love, joy, passion, confidence, faith. There's no room for lack or limitation in a, in a mind that is full of abundance and prosperity. So if you replace that thought of doubt every single time with the opposite, it will eventually become your dominant feeling. So if you have um, I've never done the three, six, nine method. No. Um, so if you have a thought, um, oh, I can't do this. I'm not gonna be able to do this. It's not going to work for me. That's your thought that comes into your mind. Every single time that happens, you're going to say, Nope, it is happening for me. It's done every single time. Switch it, switch it. You might not know this, but you control all your own thoughts. Do you know that? Like every single thought you have, you control it. It doesn't control you. I used to think that my thinking controlled me, but I can't keep these negative thoughts out. My mind is racing. No, you just need to learn. You just need to learn how to control your thoughts. And this is, this is oftentimes what I teach people to do is how to control your thinking so that your thinking is only of what you want. Yeah, you got it, Cassie. Yep, beautiful. How many times should we manifest daily? <laughs> so I live in a constant state of manifestation. So what does that mean? So all day, every day, I'm operating on the frequency of myself with my goals achieved. So I live as my higher self always. So right now, <clears throat> You know, I, my goal now f is for us to build Diamond Academy to a hundred million dollar company because the amount of people that we will help with this to bring in that much revenue into the company, that is a lot of lives that are changed through this material. So I don't show up as myself right now with my current results. I'm showing up now as much as I can every single day as the CEO of a hundred million dollar company. How do I think? How do I act? How do I behave? I'm asking myself that all the time. So I'm thinking about that always. So I have a morning routine. I call it my spirituality routine. I do meditation. I do gratitude. So this is really fun because gratitude, a lot of us will do three things we're grateful for. I do five things I'm grateful for that I have in my physical world in the third dimension. And then I meant I write down five things that I'm grateful for that are in the vortex in the fourth dimension, however you want to call it, that are on their way to the physical realm. So happy and grateful now that I'm the CEO of a hundred million dollar company. And then you feel the feeling. So this is a really important part. Should I do a, a guided visualization? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. How are we for time? Okay. Let me, well, that's a lot of messages. Um, let me find my music and we're going to do this. 
I'm not prepared. What I want you to do as you go through, as you follow along with me, um, if you're somebody who um, visualizes on a regular basis, then you'll know exactly what to do. You'll know what picture you're gonna trigger, what picture you're gonna see on the screen of your mind and you're gonna apply the emotion. But if this is something you've never done before, I just want you to surrender to this and allow whatever's gonna come to your mind, come to your mind. Okay, let's turn our cameras off. I don't want any distractions for you, not for me. Oh, where's my song? They keep changing my Spotify. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so sit nice and relaxed. Now I want you to find a mirror on the wall or your reflection in the water. And I want you to look at yourself from head to toe. This is the happiest you've ever been. The healthiest you've ever been. the wealthiest you've ever been. Now look yourself in the eyes. 
what do you say to yourself now that you've accomplished it all? You did it. Notice the expression on your face. And feel the pride. For holding the vision and staying the course. on to that feeling of the wish fulfilled. to put in the chat how you're feeling. How is everybody feeling? Calm, stressed. Really, Sam, you're stressed? Thinking about your end result? We can help you. Did you fill in the link to chat with somebody? I would do that. So that's what you want to do. What we just did there, we just went to the end result. We felt the feeling of what it feels like to achieve it. And you raised your vibration. So that's the feeling. So I do that twice a day. I do that in the morning and I do that before bed. Yeah, let's do one more question. Sam, do you have a question? Hello, yeah. Can you hear yes, me? what's your question? Um, my question was regarding manifestation and timeline because you said that it's not good to force it, but what if you work for a company and you have timelines to meet and all that, so it becomes quite stressful. Yeah, so when you're, when you are working at a job, like a, co a corporate, let's say, I'm not sure what your job is, but if you work for a job and you have things that you have to accomplish within a certain time, so you have deliverables, that's a little bit different than what we're talking about here. We're talking about growing. We're talking about changing internally in our thoughts and our feelings to give you what you want. So if where you currently work and those deliverables are not something that you want in your life, it's going to be hard to manifest that outcome because you're not attached to it. You don't have a desire for it. Now, if it is what you want and those are your goals and you want to achieve those deliverables, then you want to see yourself achieving them. See yourself achieving them faster. Feel what it feels like to achieve them, but you have to let, because we have been programmed to work really hard and to hustle and to grind and to force. That's kind of this perpetuating thing. You know, I was somebody before where I had a full-time job working in healthcare and I started my own side business. And then I did my master's on the side because I always felt like I needed to be doing, 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 doing trying, pushing. And so when you're in that feeling, there's no release. It's just straight resistance. Does that help, Sam? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, beautiful. My computer is gonna die here and I don't know where the plug is. So <laughs> 
I wanted to stay around an hour because I know people start to drop off after the hour. Um, so what I would do is if you want the manifestation checklist, if you want to know what song it is that I played, or if you want to know what, um, what some of the books were that I talked about, I would just get on a call with somebody with my team. They can help you to get that. So make sure you fill out that link. It's not going to hurt you. It's only going to help you. I can tell you that right now. Um, and sometimes we don't do things out of fear. But what I want you to do is I want you to step out of the fear into a place of faith. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. This is recorded. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this over to the units section in the Facebook group. So um, if you are in the Mindset for Success Facebook group, it'll be moved over. Uh, if you're not in that group, I would really encourage you to be in there. We're going to be doing some pretty good stuff in the next couple of weeks in there. Um, Sarah, will you put that link in there again? Um, beautiful. There it is. The link will also be in the Mindset for Success Facebook group. We will post that link separately for anybody who needs to find it. Okay. I appreciate you guys so, so much for coming on here with me and listening to what I have to say. This is my absolute passion. Um, I hope that you uh, felt that as you were on here tonight. And I just want to uh, leave you with this one thought. And one of the things that changed everything for me was when my desire for more was bigger than my fear. So I would ask yourself, is your desire for more bigger than the fear that you're experiencing? Because you just push past. All right, have a beautiful evening, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.